Hello everyone. So today we are going to continue our topic operation on arrays from our last video. So in our last video, uh, we saw two operations on our uh, fixed size array. One was um, finding a specific element in our unsorted array. And second was insertion of an element at a specific position when an array is uh, not fully filled. All right. So today um, we are going to look at deletion, deletion of an array. All right. So suppose our input is our input array is somewhat like this: three, eight, twelve, five, six. Cool. And if I say delete x twelve, so the new output should be three, eight, five, six. All right. Similarly, if we again take the same array and if we delete six, six would be deleted and only uh, four elements would be left. All right. So um, pause this video for um, two to three minutes and think of a approach to solve this problem and uh, try to write the code yourself. So I guess uh, you might have like uh, gave a thought of how to solve this or something. All right. So um, let me tell you how to solve this. Okay. So uh, what are we going to do here is uh, we'll uh, search uh, this X element in our um, input array. All right. Suppose X come here, right? 12. Okay. Zero, one, two, and its index is what? Two. So what are we going to do is we are from index two to four. Four is what? N minus one. All right. From index two to four, what are we going to do is that we are going to put array i as array i plus 1. All right. So instead of this term 12, Okay, for like, uh, let's write this code. So it is like three, eight, and uh, this is what array i would be written as array i plus one. So this would be what five. Five would become six. So sorry, this would go till n minus two. All right, it would go till three, zero, one, two, three. And we'll discard this last element. How we'll discard it? We'll see in the video. All right. So this will go till n minus two. In this case also, C x is six. So this, uh, we'll discard the last element and we'll get this array. All right. In this, um, i is uh, itself n minus one. So we'll just discard the last element. We don't have to, you know, shift the elements like the in the first scenario. All right. So I hope like you have got a basic idea of how to, you know, the how the basic idea of this code would be exactly. Okay. Also note one thing that this problem is see if there are like multiple occurrences of X in our array. So only the first occurrence would get deleted. All right. Suppose here one more 12 would have been here. Still only this 12 would have been um, deleted. All right. If you have to, you know, like delete multiple occurrences, there's a 
more complex code which will come uh, later in this series so for um, current scenario let's assume that uh, all the elements are distinct or if you are assuming that there are uh, more occurrences of our x so just um, uh, only the first occurrence would get deleted right so let's try to code this okay let's um, include our header file first all right let's try and write a main function so let's have array as the example array you can have the user input array but for the sake of simplicity i am having my defined array which uh, was there in the example this was there in the example right and uh, let's have x as 12 okay and size of array as 5 all right now let's do one thing let's write this like before deletion all right Let's have n as delete all right and array. Let's pass x, let's pass n all right and let's have you know this code after deletion. So let's again run this. All right. So you must be wondering what is this n? Like why are we like substituting this value? So let me first write the delete code so you will understand better. Okay. Let's have our delete code here. Let's yeah delete all right let's have int r int x and int n okay now let's um try and think let's have i as uh, zero all right and let's run a loop from i to 0 till i less than n and i plus plus and let's say that if at any point arr i becomes x break all right now there can be instances like when the the element the x element x is not present in the array all right for example let's uh, suppose x here is 13 so there is no 13 present here so there would be no deletion operation hence our array would be intact so in such case what would be the like what would you do in such case so what we're going to do is see we have our variable i i would uh, run till n Okay, so this loop would run and as soon as see if x is not present here what will happen i will reach n and it will break okay so let's put this condition that if i is equal is equal to n we'll return n so basically in our delete function we are returning the size of the element 
So if suppose if we delete the element, n would become n minus one, and the size would reduce, and we're reducing the n here. And suppose if the element x is not present in our array, we are simply returning n because the array would remain intact. Good. So this was one scenario. Another scenario is that there is the x element is present in our array. All right, and we found it. And we uh, broke this loop and now we have i as the uh, index of x element for example um give me one minute let's erase this a little bit all right yes so suppose in this i is x is our 12 all right we'll uh, have i initially as zero and we'll run through this and at this point, our error i would be equal to you know x, and the loop will break. Hence, i would be two here. So, so i would be two. So now we have you know our element, the index of the element to be deleted. And what did I on uh, what did I tell you that from this? Till n minus 2, we are going to run this operation. Error i is equal to error i plus 1. Alright. So now, now what we are going to do is for int j is equal to i. This will run till n minus 1. Less than n minus 1 meaning n minus 2. j plus plus. And what we are going to do is arr j arr j plus uh, one return um, n minus one. All right. So what are we going? What are we doing here? Is we did this thing. All right. Tell it. So now you must be wondering how we discarded this. So I guess this is clear. We'll have six here, but what we are doing is we are returning only this size. Three, eight, five, six. So at no point we are saying the size of our array is the same. Since we have reduced the size of the array, this element would get eliminated. Only three, eight, five, six would remain. All right. Because size has decreased by one. Okay. So we have returned n minus one nr n and this loop will run for i equal to 0 i less than in n i plus plus and we'll just see out arri okay let's save this and try to run it see okay Give me one minute. What happened here is we didn't put C out until after this. Now it would be like more clear to you. Right. See, before deletion, the array is 38256. Okay. And after deletion, our array is 38256. All right. We have, you know, sub, um, deleted the element 12. Now, if we put x is as 6, now what will happen? Let's try and run it. See, 38256, 38256. Hence, the code is correct. Alright. So, I hope you have understood how the deletion operation on arrays work and um, the previous video and this video combined covered you know the basic operations on the fixed size arrays which could be done easily on uh, vectors which are, are dynamically sized arrays but since we have to you know uh, demonstrate you some operations on the fixed size arrays so we did some basic operations of insertion uh, deletion and searching all right so i hope this is clear to you
and i'll end this lecture today and uh, see you next time